Okay, review of uh, Riverdale Season 5. Uh, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10, just because I know I've actually done a bad... Uh, uh, I think the Riverdale series is really bad and stuff, but yeah. Because I think I gave um, 6 out of 10 on Season 4, and then 2 and so on. So yeah, I'm probably gonna give this one an eight, just because I did. I think they kind of made it like season one here. Season one, I really did like. Um, season th five, um, I would can't explain. It's kind of like a dead corpse. The series is kind of like a dead corpse that you. Every time you keep shooting it, it keeps coming back to life. That's basically the resemblance of season five here. They even tried to, um, it almost got to the part where, yeah, it almost got to, um, to the, uh, uh, part that it almost went downhill, but then it just keeps going back, it just keeps coming back up. And the ending to this, to um, the ep to the uh, show um, is the uh, war spoiler warning. Um, the uh, what is it? Archie and Betty uh, try to uh, start a relationship all over again, but is interrupted by Harmon and Large getting undetected. Did and puts a bomb in the room here, and that's the end of the series. That's the end of the of the season. Um, I'm hoping that they actually survive because um, I don't think Riverdale can survive without Betty and Archie here. The only thing I can think of is that they do survive is probably gonna be just maybe. Um, third degree burns from a bomb maybe or a house being burned down either one is probably going to be happening in the next season here so yeah AF10 uh, come on try me too so yeah uh, peace and subscribe ground base yeah uh, peace